Yo, we back once again, and Jake Paul has been on another social media rampage to bait Conor McGregor into a fight. He made a video at Raisin Cane's, a chicken restaurant, calling Conor McGregor a chicken <laughs> for being too scared to fight him, which is very epic. Um, yeah, can I have a Conor McGregor sandwich, please? One chicken sandwich, all right? Chicken sandwich! Hi, I'm Jake Paul. We're here at Raisin Cane's, and I love all chickens. Besides Conor McGregor, He's the world's biggest chicken. Connor, you were just talking about me in the media saying if it makes money, it makes sense. Uh, a YouTube Jake Paul beat former NBA player sold over a million buys on pay-per-view. YouTube kid. Uh, so it's it doing good business. As they say, if it makes dollars, it makes sense. I offered you $50 million. You're getting paid five to fight Dustin Poirier. I think you're a chicken. Dylan, mate, are you going to fight Jake? No, I'm scared of him. I hurt my knee and I can't fight. Oh, well, I'm a chicken, so I'm not going to fight him either. What are you, Connor? A chicken? You have never been offered $50 million to fight someone, and meanwhile, you're sparring guys that get knocked out by this dude. Grab him, Dylan! Grab Unbelievable! Him. Grab him! Oh. You suck. Bro, Jake Paul, he's such a good troll, bro. Okay, I gotta respect him. I gotta give respect where respect is due. He's really good at pissing people off. He just plays the character so well. But recently, Conor McGregor has responded to all the trolling, he recently did an interview where he talked about Jake Paul and the possibility of a fight between the two, where he proceeds to roast Jake Paul in vicious fashion. I've got YouTubers calling you out, mate. That, you know, that is what it is. I'm, we'll see what happens, you know? That's it. I'm, I don't really... He seems like a confused little kid to me, to be honest. Um, now we now he's willing to get in, so I'm not. You know, I don't know what'll happen. It's not. It's not on the radar at, at the minute with, with with the young lad. I know I have a teammate that him and him and Dylan have been uh, back and forth. So you never know. But I'm excited to see. You know, fair play to them. Fair play to the, the, the Logan guy getting in with Floyd. I'm excited to see how that goes. Floyd looks a bit fat to me, man. I just it's 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 a mad little scene at the minute, isn't it? But I'm not against it. Any man that is willing to make that walk, you know, all the best. It's so funny how Conor McGregor still refuses to say Jake Paul's name. He still refers to him as the confused YouTube kid, which is very epic. He even mentioned Logan Paul's name, which further pushes the idea of Jake Paul being in his brother's shadow, which you know that would hit Jake Paul deep in the feels. I feel like Conor McGregor secretly knows his stuff, bro. He's probably a Logan Paul fan or a Jake Paul fan, and he's like digging into all the lore, trying to roast him. But it might just be a coincidence. But nevertheless, it's still pretty funny. And the good thing is, McGregor is not against the idea of YouTube boxing. He's actually in support of it. So, you never know, bro. There might be a possibility that the fight can still happen in the future. Like, you never know, bro. It's a free W and free money for Conor McGregor. Why wouldn't he take it? The thing is, he already has so much money. Like, I'm pretty sure his whiskey brand is worth hundreds of millions of dollars at this point. So, there isn't that urgency to fight anymore. Plus, Conor McGregor is already in talks for a boxing match with Manny Pacquiao, which that's probably gonna delay the Jake Paul fight because McGregor's gonna fight Dustin Prober, <laughs> as, as Jake Paul likes to say. And then he's gonna possibly fight more MMA fights. I don't really know what's his deal with that. But then Manny Pacquiao and then Jake Paul, that's still years away. Although Jake Paul did say he wants to fight McGregor later on when he's improved. So, you know, five years down the line, this might be a thing. Conor McGregor might be the final boss of final bosses for Jake Paul. And maybe by then, Jake Paul's already built up his name as a boxer. He's only just started now. I think he's taking it pretty seriously. So he's going to continue to box, continue to wreck basketball players and shit, build his name up. He's actually making bank through fighting. So respect to Jake Paul. He's following his passion. He's having fun. He's making moves. So fair play. And Jake Paul, he's also planning on fighting soon. He announced his next fight on social media. I'm fighting with Triller and the Triller Fight Club. Snoop Dogg commentating. Huge musical performances. Things that we can't even name yet. Massive people on the undercard. April 10th. So April 10th, it is going down. We are going for the biggest pay-per-view event ever. That's the goal. I teamed up. <laughs> yeah, let's give a round of applause. Let's go, baby. Biggest pay-per-view event ever. That's what we're going for. That's what we're going for. First, we did a good number. Second, one we better. teamed up with Triller. 
obviously they're amazing they threw the best boxing event probably ever in, in my opinion at least is that from the entertainment to the boxing everything the musical acts shout out to ryan and bobby over at triller so april 10th that's the date i wonder who it's gonna be i thought it was gonna be ben Askren or dylan dennis but i heard that those deals fell through so maybe michael bisping you know that would be legendary if jake paul fights michael bisping the trash talk would be legendary because michael bisping he's got some good banter he's got some good trash talking skills so i'd love to see that he'd destroy jake paul when it comes to that but i doubt jake paul is gonna be fighting any mma fighters because mma fighters they still have hands like jake paul he doesn't want to take the risk where he can possibly lose the fight Boxing's kind of shady anyways to begin with. All these fighters, even the top boxers, they're always fighting like trash fighters to like protect their record of being undefeated. And since Jake Paul isn't taking it seriously, I feel like his management team and all the other people, they're going to try to put him against people that they know he will beat. So MMA fighters, if he's going to fight one, it's going to be someone that doesn't box. So like Dylan Dennis, that kind of makes sense. I could see Jake Paul winning, but is it even worth the risk? Anyways... My opinion is MMA fighters is still a little bit too early for Jake Paul. I think he's going to fight some more tune-up fights, some more five foot two <laughs> YouTubers and shit, <laughs> some more basketball players, but we'll see. Who do you guys think Jake Paul is going to be fighting next? Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of MMA fighters having hands, I've been fanboying over this one Max Holloway clip from the past weekend in his fight against Calvin Qatar. Like, I'm not the only one fanboying over it. Like, the whole MMA community, they're all being just jerking off to this clip so hard. This clip's just godlike, bro. I'll show it to you guys. Really, I would really think about stopping this one of her and the coaches. <laughs> he points out your DC. He's even listening to the commentary team. Yo, what the fuck's this shit? I kicked on the wrong bitch. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> oh shit, yo, this shit's lit though. He's not even looking at him. <laughs> Just moonwalking back like a boss. But bro, do you see how legendary that play was right there? Like he was talking shit. And then he doesn't even look at the guy, bro. He proceeds to talk to the commentary box. And then he throws out a sudden no-look punch. And then proceeds to dodge all the punches while not even looking at the dude. He's moonwalking back out of that bitch. Not even looking at him, bro. Just imagine how the other guy feels. Like, just imagine you're throwing everything at him. He's not even looking at you. He's dodging your shit. And then talking shit to someone else. Not even to you, bro. Like, damn. That would drop your confidence so much. You'd be like, damn, bro. I'm trash. I'm, I can't do shit right now. Like, you'd just be like, fuck. I can't do anything. And then you just lose all hope. Like, that would demoralize you to the max. And apparently, he didn't even spar leading up to the fight. Like he was just playing video games. So that goes to show that us gamers, you know, we can become epic fighters too. Like, he just fully reached Super Saiyan mode right there. He was in flow state that entire fight, absolutely wrecking the other guy. I think he landed, like, 445 significant strikes that fight, which is a new record for the UFC. Like, it smashed the previous record by a landslide. Bro, the other dude, Calvin Qatar, bro, he's going to be having headaches for weeks after taking that many punches, bro. Five, like, almost 500 punches. Imagine that, bro. Your brain just bouncing around so much. Like, that's the thing that scares me about MMA. I love fighting so much, but I also love my brain, so... I don't want to get CTE or some shit like that. That would suck. But anyways, make sure to like the video, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon. I'm out of here, homie. Peace.